What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to show you guys one of my favorite pepperoni pizzas of all time. It's really hard to say if it's my favorite favorite because I haven't done like a side by side with all of my favorite pepperoni pizzas and they're not all in the same place. But this particular pepperoni pizza is so unique. I've never had anything like it before. And at the same time, it's just so simple. Great ingredients. They really take the time to prepare the pizzas the way they should be prepared. Not to say that other places don't do this too, but it's the little extra attention to detail that I really love. So the place is called Beludo. It's actually an empanada place. So I think I'm going to grab a few empanadas as well because they are also delicious. The owner Facundo is from Argentina. He's worked under uh, some great chefs in the city. So yeah, I'm super excited to be showing you guys this place. And if you're ever in the Minneapolis area, you just absolutely have to come and try it. All right, let's go order our pizza and then we can come back here. Got these at Costco, by the way. And they just like don't stick out in the center. They just pop back in. I'm so excited, guys. Okay. It's about to get hot in here. <clears throat> okay. I have, like, brought a setup. So that you guys could, like, hopefully see the pizza while I'm eating. The empanadas are in here, but we're going to eat them after we try some pizza. Oh my gosh. It's just incredible looking, honestly. Oh, the cheese is kind of like... Oh, that mm. oh my gosh. Everything about this pizza is perfection before it comes out of the oven, like when he's preparing it, he adds San Rosano tomatoes that I believe they add a little bit of sugar to. And the extra sweetness is just like perfect with the rest of the pizza. So when it comes out, 
he is freshly grating to order this reggianito cheese which is like an argentinian parmesan he's like brushing the crust with this really fruity extra virgin olive oil sprinkling it with flake salt and adding freshly cracked pepper to the top of every pizza i mean it's just it's so good i'm going to show you guys <laughs> And the pepperonis are the, like the cup pepperonis. Oh, look at that. Oh. oh my god. Mm. Mm. And the crust, the center of the pizza, the crust is kind of similar to a Neapolitan style pizza. It doesn't really stand up, but then the crust is puffed up. It's crispy on the outside, but kind of like soft, very, very slight to chew. So good. These guys just passed by. What is she doing? I'm actually surprised at the amount of traffic there is right now. Saturday. Oh my gosh. This makes me so happy. I'm actually flying to Florida tomorrow for the holiday. I'll be there for three weeks. Excited to see my mom, my dad, my brother, my niece, my friends. The tomatoes are just so fresh. I can't stand when pizza is like kind of super, super thick marinara sauce that tastes like that like bottled spice. You know, all of that like granulated onion, garlic. No, I really love using fresh garlic, fresh onion to get those flavors. Everything else just tastes again like bottled to me. Mm. I love when pizza like strings like that. It reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fake pizza always looked so good to me. Mm.
P.S. I'm super bummed that I wasn't able to add the sound for when I was inside Baluto. Every time I go in there, it is friggin' bumpin' with Latino music. It just makes you want to dance immediately. They like always have a soccer game on or football. So good. Like I want another piece, but I'm like, oh, should we go to the empanadas now? Just... I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> or maybe I won't. Don't dare stop my napkin. They have such fancy napkins there. I was like, is this cloth? Like, I'm not taking your nice ass cloth napkins. They have like a linen print on them and they're like thick, it's kind of heavy. All right. Let's move on. I feel like we don't really need this guy anymore, but we'll leave him just to see. <clears throat> okay. They smell amazing. And the chimichurri that they pair with it. It's the same chimichurri for all of them. I forget which is which. I got a spinach. I got beef. I want to say the picadillo is kind of like the more traditional empanada beef picadillo. Either way, I got beef, spinach, and a corn empanada that they've got. I feel like this is the beef I feel like it's like oh, the juice is gonna flow everywhere. I'm gonna like open it for you guys so you can see. Oh. big chunks of olives in there. The pastry is so flaky and light. All these spices, peppers, onions, so much flavor. I'm saving half of each of these for shade. I feel like I can see green in here, so I'm going to assume that it's spinach. Oh my god. <sighs> Honestly, this is my favorite. Mm. 
honestly the perfect ratio of spinach to cheese just cheesy enough so you taste it and you get that stringiness but you also really taste the spinach Seasoning on that one is pretty mild, which I really, really love, especially since you have the chimichurri, which is like bright, acidic, fresh with all of the herbs. Just a little spice. Look at this one. It looks like Shrek. You see it. You know you do. Donkey! Obviously, tons of cheese again. Fresh corn. You get that like pop from them. They're you see they don't have that like stale canned corn flavor it's fresh corn guys oh my gosh i've had one of their other pizzas and it's so good and so impressive looking. I wanna say it had prosciutto on it. It's been a little while, but the whole thing is just piled high, like this high with fresh arugula. And then that Reggianito cheese that he topped the pepperoni with, he puts like a mountain of it on top. I have a picture, I think. I will put it here if I can find it. I think I have it. It's unbelievable and he's got some other pizzas that i haven't tried they all look amazing cannot recommend this place enough they also have a homemade dose de leche that they put on top of flan i just love this place so much and they've been doing pretty decently in the pandemic i feel like places like this where it's just super kind of casual food like grab and go food has been doing particularly well, obviously. Wondering if there isn't like an opportunity for me to do like a dine-in situation. Once this is kind of all over, maybe like prior to a restaurant opening, going in and doing like a few courses at one of those places, that'd be neat. Comment below what you think about that. I've got an anata all over my car. I am so excited to bring the rest of this back. It's so worth it. So worth it. I'm just gonna have to vacuum this car. Yeah, definitely vacuuming. Save it, please. Thank you for coming. Just realized I didn't have anything to drink through that whole video. I'm so thirsty now. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, what are you doing? All right, guys, this was freaking awesome. So glad I brought you here. Comment below what you thought about this food. You had to have loved it. You had to have. Comment below what other foods you want to see me eat in my car. If you happen to live in the cities or you just know of places in the cities that you want to see me eat at definitely comment that below as well thank you guys so much for joining today just love you guys is all i love this relationship we have we eat together sometimes we fight sometimes you think i talk too much it's all a part of a healthy relationship all right guys thank you again so much for joining today it means so much that you guys show up for me and support me i appreciate every single one of you and i will see you guys next time I have so many things in my nails. Bye guys.